there and welcome to this special edition of the review of the One Way UK Daily Devotionals. We'll be covering the period the 7th to the 11th of November and that's the key. So everything that we're looking at is focused on the 11th of November Remembrance Day. We're taking one item from each of the days that we've looked at uh, from the 7th to the 11th and from what we read uh, in John 11:47 through to John 12, 2 uh, from the New Testament, uh, which is what we were studying this week. On Monday, uh, we saw that the Pharisees actually thought that it was all about them, <laughs> but in reality, it was all about Jesus. They were pursuing uh, an offensive campaign against Jesus, trying to arrest him, have him killed. Now, military service is recognising that there is something bigger than the individual, either worth gaining or protecting. Hence, the element of self-sacrifice that we talk about when we remember the fallen of not just two world wars, but all the other things that have been going on between those wars and since. Moving to Tuesday, um, we know from the Bible that God is all about offering life, but all too often, and we've seen this in various Arab nations this year, leaders of men often turn to killing as a means of solving their problems. That's why there can be such a thing as a justifiable war. There are occasions when it's the only way to confront a tyrant effectively. Moving on to Wednesday, um, we saw that uh, there was a practical outworking of the death threats which hung over Jesus. And I won't go into the detail of, of what that was, you can see it in John 11 54. But the key for us is that on Remembrance Day, we see the practical outworking of war and conflict, which is grief and loss. And I think it's good that we spare a thought for those who've lost loved ones. Now, typically in conflict, the ones who lose their lives stand at the threshold of adulthood or in the prime of life. Now, the phrase world peace has become a bit of a joke, as it were, or expressed on the lips of beauty queens. But the Bible suggests that you and I will never see world peace until Jesus returns. But at least we can introduce the grieving to the Prince of Peace, Jesus. Going on to Thursday, um, we discovered that of course doing good it doesn't uh, uh, make us immune to criticism. Um, and have you noticed how some people have, or some groups even, have criticised the continuation of Remembrance Day. Now what's the Bible's view on Remembrance? Well it's strong on Remembrance, but in a very positive vein. For example, let me just read from Psalm 77 11. I will remember the works of the Lord, surely I will remember thy wonders of old. Now we may carry bitter memories of the loss we've endured, um, as we turn to God, he is able to comfort us and give us a future and a hope. God takes the bad things of the past, things that uh, the Bible would say that uh, our enemy has uh, meant for evil, and he will turn them to good. Sometimes it's, it's almost impossible to believe it, but if we hang on in, in faith, we will see these things turned around. And finally, for Remembrance Day itself, we were looking, we were considering that, um, that Jesus was known by the works that he did. Well, I heard recently um, of somebody who was releasing some girls from a pork warehouse um, where they had been taken, they were being trafficked uh, for the sex trade in Europe, and uh, she... As, as 
she and others reached them and said, look, we can get you out of this situation. In response to questions, she explained to them that God had convicted her to get involved to help people like them escape their captors. And one of the girls looked up and said, well, if this God is who you say he is, then why didn't you get here sooner? Now, I guess that variations of that question can apply to us all in our life. I don't know whether or not we believe in God. The Bible actually explains that he has plans for each one of us. Now, the best form of remembrance is surely to get on and fulfil our destiny here on earth. If we do that, we do honour the dead because we make use of our most valuable asset that they've bequeathed to us, which is time to make a difference. God bless you and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week.